mom is my heart. She's a fighter and she looks like this small person, but this is a, a lady that's made of steel. But at the same time, is one of the most compassionate, caring persons I've ever met. And so Lee, for me, um, early days is my father having to work a lot. So my mother was the one who was always there taking care of us. One of the things that my mom taught me that carries through to this day is um, she always used to say, when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. But she used to say that in Creole. So she would say, Well, my mom is my queen. She is the most important person in my life as we speak right now. Um, well, besides my, my kids and my siblings. One of the fondest memories with my mother is, considering we come from Shuzel, is to always have a country and western dance. You know, uh, Sunday morning you wake up, you get to that station, or you put in a CD with your western, and you tease your mom with a dance. It's something I always remember for as, from, for as long as I can remember, having that country and western tease with my mother. I've still not gotten over the passing of my mom um, six years ago. Um, she died at 93 years, okay. From time to time I go to the cemetery, you know, by the tomb and spend a little moment and reflect a bit. So my mom had a lot of influence as far as I grew up. Uh, my mom was a lady. When I'm on my best behavior, I'm being my mother. She was very adamant that you needed to be a lady. She was very particular about how you spoke, tone, intonation, decorum, comportment, a true old-fashioned quintessential teacher. My mother had a great influence on, on my personality and who I am today. Um, from the time I got to know my mom really as a youngster, she always encouraged me to do the very best that, that I could do. Um, she was very um, productive in that she was a seamstress, she, she made cakes, she was baking, she did every, all sorts of things um, to assist my father who was a police officer at the time to raise us. Every time Mother's Day comes around, I remember how great a mother she was and she did such a great job with us who, um, who had to take up the role of mother and father while my father sailed as a seaman. I found myself singing while I'm doing my work, my housework. And that's something my mom always did. As a child, I could know where she was at home because I listened to her voice singing. I don't think anybody can have a better mother than like my mother. Um, my mother is just the best. She's the best. It's so difficult to talk about um, someone who is the most important person to you. I know that my mom has been a praying woman you know, all my life. I think um, one of the things she really taught us is to always pray and put God first in everything that we do. So we have a strong sense of who we are, but that faith is rooted, you know, in the Lord Jesus Christ. And um, not a day goes by without us praying as children. Every child of hers, I think, continues to pray every day. My mother is somebody that, um, you know, you'd always look to if you're not feeling well, um, they knew all the bush medicine and everything that was required. I find myself quoting my mom quite often on many things. I think first and foremost what I learned from her that really stuck with me, that really molded me and shaped me was um, having pride in oneself and having a healthy self-esteem. I mean I grew up with my mom and my father died at the age of three when I was, when I was the age of three and so I did not have a father figure that I grew up with, but it was my mom who really molded me and shaped my character and made me who I am. I mean, this was a woman who was very strong and very proud, I must say, and I think she has instilled that quality in us. She always encouraged me um, to be independent. Um, she always would take me to the kitchen to teach me to cook, to wash. And I must say, I have no regrets, right? I can cook, I can wash. The only thing I don't like to do, and I will not do for you, is to iron. I don't like to iron, right? But when it comes to cooking and, and, and washing, I, I like to wash dishes. I like to see a, I like to see a clean sink in a house, in the kitchen. And because of the relationship 
I had with my mom, you know, as, as the eldest in the, in, the, in the household. That that has, you know, stayed with me, and um, I enjoy doing it. My mother always taught me that be careful when you go up the ladder, because the same people you pass going up are the same people you're going to pass going down. And she was always put other person, people first. And so that was grounded me from day one. My mother has always indicated, don't hang your heart higher than where your hand can reach and always remain who you are, be true to yourself. So that is one lesson that I have carried and I practice every day. In those days we used to cook in the garden so my mom would leave me some food when I get out of school. And boy, did I ever used to look forward to leaving school so that I can rush to the garden and get that food, you know, and you know, just be with her in the garden. Uh, I remember one of the fondest memories I remember of my mom was going to school, um, secondary school, when she would be ironing my uniform and putting those splits on the back of my shirts. I, I looked very clean, very decent, well attired. And now that I'm an adult, I no longer have those <laughs> plits on my shirt, you know? That's one of the fondest memories I remember of my mom. My mom remains the rock of our family and she plays such a significant role in inspiring all of us. The last time I spent with my mom was very, very, very touching and that um, that was the last birthday that we spent together. I still have the photographs that um, she's sitting on the, on the couch and I'm, and she's hugging me and telling me that she, she loved me and, and, and so on and I made her proud. My greatest memory was my mom taking me down to Castries Market every Saturday and going around as she shopped and as she conversed with the vendors. There's one childhood story that my family would say. <laughs> my mom used to wash in the river. We, were, we grew up in Derry, so as you know, and there were eight of us, and she, we used to walk down to the river. And I was always tired for some reason, coming back home. And my mom used to put me in the bathtub, and she would carry me on top of the clothes with me sleeping in the bathtub and walking up the rocky hills with me. So these are things that moms did and moms do. A very special Mother's Day to all the mothers who are on the front lines working on Mother's Day. Um, remember that this is a worthy cause and I have always maintained that there is no amount of money that can compensate you for the work that you do. So no matter where you are, you are there saving lives, you are there protecting the lives of other mothers, other St. Lucians, and it is the most worthy cause that you can engage in on Mother's Day. To all St. Lucian mothers, I just want to wish you a happy Mother's Day and may God continue to bless and keep you um, and continue to give you the strength to do the work that you've been doing in our nation because mothers are really the foundation, you know, of our society and who we are. So I want to take this opportunity to wish every mother in Castries Southeast all the best as they celebrate Mother's Day. It is not just about the eating and the drinking, but it gives us an opportunity this time around to really reflect and celebrate mothers in a different way. So even if all the children cannot visit and you cannot have the parties and all of this, that in no way should lessen the value that we place on mothers and how we celebrate them and their achievements. Because without mothers, none of us would be here. I want to take this opportunity to wish all mothers a very happy Mother's Day 2020. I, as we know, this country has been nurtured, shaped and carried by mothers. Mothers played a predominant role as far as taking care of our nation is concerned and for what all mothers have done I want to express a sincere thanks. I want to give a special message of uh, Happy Mother's Day to my constituents, all mothers in my constituency. I, I also want to acknowledge some of the fathers who play the role of mothers because they are, they are children who grew up with single fa fathers and so they have to play the role of both mother and father. I want to wish every nurturer, every mother in this country a very happy Mother's Day, despite the restrictions that you will have to celebrate on. Um, to all the lovely mothers, um, I know we will still hear a lot of country and western being played through the various 
um, windows and various um, you know households in in the community is just that we may not necessarily be congregating and doing that dancing but happy mother's day and i wish everybody the best happy mother's day to all the mothers out there uh, all of you who have poured so much into all of us your children and we are truly products of you of your discipline of your inspiration of everything that you've done for us we thank you uh, I don't even think thank you is good enough, but we are grateful for everything, every sacrifice that you have made. I want to wish all the moms out there, um, despite the fact that um, we are not socializing as we would like to, but I want to tell them at least to spend some time to, to, to enjoy the Mother's Day and Sunday, especially the moms from Barbano. I want, by extension, to um, wish all mothers in St. Lucia, and of course in the region, um, happy Mother's Day. I, I want to wish every mother in St. Lucia and the rest of the world the very happiest and most enjoyable Mother's Day. Um, you deserve it. Um, without you, we would not be here to, to celebrate. And so please enjoy it. Remember that we have to do our social distancing and um, remember the protocols that have been set in place for our safety. I want to thank you. So happy Mother's Day to each and every one of you. In my constituency, the whole of St. Lucia, in the diaspora, happy Mother's Day to each and every one of you. Please enjoy and stay safe. Happy Mother's Day to the teachers. They mother not only their biological children, but they mother the students in the classroom as well. And, and my heart goes out to them especially on this Mother's Day. I remember the nurses. Many of them perhaps will be working on Sunday and won't get to hug their loved ones in the way that we normally do, especially within the context of COVID. So if they would allow me, I'd send them a virtual hug and to know how much we appreciate what they do. And there are the housewives, the magicians, I call them. They are the lawyers, doctors, economists, nurses. And they do everything, the chefs, the cooks. They are the magicians. So to the housewives, I say happy, happy, happy Mother's Day. I know this one is different. I know because of the protocols regarding social distancing that many families will not be able to assemble in the way that they normally do for Mother's Day. And even more reason for us to appreciate the things that perhaps we've taken for granted previously. So to all the mothers out there, do know that you matter so much to me. You matter so much to us. And to the fathers, who are single fathers, who double up as mothers for one reason or another. We love you too. And continue to do the fantastic work that you do with your children. Certainly I want to wish all mothers a very happy Mother's Day. I believe uh, our mothers in St. Lucia have been doing a tremendous work. They are hard working. They are taking up the dual role of mother and father where the father does not exist to give guidance and to be that father figure within the community. I do wish you the very best and I hope that this Mother's Day, not, con not considering the social distancing, and the remote environment within, probably you will celebrate Mother's Day without your children around you or your family around you that make it a memorable one. Happy Mother's Day to you. And I just want to take this opportunity to celebrate the mothers out there to say Happy Mother's Day. And we live in unprecedented times where mothers are now called to be teachers, mothers are called to be everything. I would really like to thank these mothers on the front line because they're sharing their motherhood with the nation. They're being moms not just to their children, but to everyone in their care that they're interacting with. And the children should be so proud of their moms that their moms are mummies to everyone. And that's so valued. To the mothers in my constituency and to mothers in St. Lucia, thank you for holding up St. Lucia. Mothers hold up the world. Je veux dire, je veux dire tout à maman à cette lycée, spécialement Soufouyef en Saint-Jacques, 
date l'année ça là modèle pas pareil même quand toute l'année parce que tout le monde savent nous ni vers mine ça là le cas qui est covid 19 là qui a affecté un chai bagaille mais moi je veux dire toute maman pour ou été en dedans point ca famille ou fait y manger boîte ti boire ou en ripo et puis à nos quoi date l'année prochaine même temps ça là nous réunir en plus mais mardi et puis bagaille qui plus mais en cette ici spécialement sous fouiller puis pour Saint-Jean on behalf of myself and my family and my cabinet i want to wish all the mothers in Saint Lucia and all the Saint Lucian mothers in the diaspora a happy mothers day uh, i wish you all the love and the respect that you all deserve and we're all here and we're surviving what's going on because of you. So big hug, big kiss, and love you all. And in particular, I want to reach out to the mothers in my constituency in Miku South, and I want to thank you for the incredible amount of support that you have given to me and, and my own family. And I wish you tenfold back in love and appreciation. Happy Mother's Day to all of you. Thank you.